All you'll need for this practice is your mat and possibly a place to practice on the wall, especially if you don't feel comfortable hopping handstand in the middle of the room. And we'll start on our back. So go ahead and lay down and bring your right ankle on top of your left knee. And let's just heel toe the left foot out and just drop the knees to the right. And take a couple breaths here, flexing the right foot, energetically working the left knee closer to the mat. And let's begin to lengthen the breath and start to breathe in and out through your nose. Feel the belly rise and fall, the ribs expand and compress. And we'll switch it out when you're ready. Left ankle on top of the right knee, flex the left foot, heel to the right foot out, drop the knees to the left. So you're just using that left heel to work your right knee a little bit closer to the floor. And let's go ahead and set an intention for the practice. Just one of joy, of compassion, of grace for yourself and others. Coming back to the center, happy baby, grab a hold of the outer edges of the feet. Try to work the knees a little bit closer to the floor as you pull your heart through the gateway to your eyes. And we'll let it go and rock forward and back a couple times. And just see if you get your heels to the floor. And that might be it. Or let's rock forward and try to land in yogi squat. You might have to use your hands for that. That's totally fine. Just make your way into yogi squat however you want to get there. Press the elbows into the inner thighs. Try to pull your heart through the gateway of the arms. Straighten out the legs, forward fold, toes in, heels out. Just grab a hold of your elbows, whatever feels good in your body. You can sway side to side a little bit. Bob up and down. Release the hands down, flat back, lengthen the spine, touch something, any adjustment with your feet if you want to bring them closer together. Exhale, fold in. Bend the knees, drop the hips, chair pose, sit back, spin the pinkies in. Draw the hips towards your heels. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Puff up the chest. And exhale, hinge and fold forward. Actively lifting the hands off the low back. You might even play around taking a few breaths with your knees bent, connecting your low belly and your thighs, and then working towards straightening out your legs, maintaining that connection of thighs to your chest. Release your hands down, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, step back, plank pose. Grip in your fingers, hold plank or two chaturangas, elbows go straight back. Lower to the belly, inhale, up dog, point your heart through. Give yourself a little hair flip or wardrobe adjustment or whatever you need. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift the hips up high. Take a few breaths here, pedal out the feet, shake the head. This might have been a mistake to not put my hair up, but that's okay. When you're ready, look forward, bend your knees, step or hop to the top. Flat back lengthen, exhale fold in, grab a hold of the elbows. Relax a little bit more, just fold in towards the legs. Inhale, flat back lengthen. Exhale, step back, plank pose. Hold plank or two chaturangas, elbows go straight back. Downward facing dog, you can always add that up dog if you want it. Right leg flies, bend the knee and open it up, take a breath. Pigeon pose, draw your right knee on top of the foot, the shin, the knee. Slide that left leg back, so you have a straight line from your left hip all the way back to your left heel. Find this little scissoring action between your hips, drawing the right hip back and the left hip forward. Let's just bend and straighten the left leg here for five. Four, try to feel your left hamstring and glute engage. Last one. Roll onto your right hip, bring the left leg all the way around, let's twist. Right arm reaches up, take it across the body, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, try to twist a little bit further. Let's come back to the center. Left ankle on top of the right knee. Turn this into a variation on boat pose. Butt down, legs up. Take a couple moments just to try to compress. Right thigh to the chest. Pull your legs in even closer. Feel your right hip flexor engage. Slowly come down half boat. Exhale, rise up, pull the thighs in. You can always hold it at the top or hold it at the bottom. But just try to link the movements with the breath. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you lift. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down. We'll add a twist here. As you rise up, take the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. We're here for a total of ten. Again, come back to the breath. See if you can match the length of the inhale with that of the exhale. Last five, four. Three, two, 
and one. Set your right foot down, right hand. Take your hands behind your head, right elbow to the left knee for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep this shape, bridge pose, lift your hips up high. Coiling from the sacrum all the way up to the base of the neck. Flex the left foot energetically, work the left knee closer to the ground. Pull the knees into the chest. Let's rock forward and back a couple times and just try to get your right heel to the floor. And that might be it. Or you can see if you can rise up pistol style and lift your butt off the ground. Or just rock forward and back two more times. You don't actually have to lift. When you're ready, come back down to your mat. Cradle the left shin. Extend the right leg out away from the body. Take a few breaths here. We'll turn this into a twist, bending the left knee, guiding it across the body, working towards connecting the left knee with the earth and the left shoulder. Let's come back to the center, happy baby. Grab a hold of the outer edges of the feet, work the knees a little closer to the floor, or of course, grab a hold of the backs of the thighs, or just dangle in this shape if you want. Let's rock forward and back and land in yogi squat. Toes out, heels in, press the elbows into the thighs, try to pull your heart through. Plant the hands, step back, plank pose. Hold plank or two chaturangas. Try to use your legs as much as your arms. Right side, side arm out, stack it up. Reach the left arm up. Hold it here, touch your right hip to the mat and lift for 10. Nine, you can always find stillness. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Left side, side arm out, stack it up. Draw the left shoulder blade down the back. Hold it here. You can always find that heel to toe alignment. Helps with the balance or touch the hip and lift for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, ah, and 1. Downward facing dog. Lift the hips up and back. Take the left leg up and back. Bend the knee and open it up. Let's pull it in pigeon pose. Top of the left foot. The shin, the knee. Slide the right leg back, straight line from your right hip back to your right heel. Find that little scissor, pulling the left hip back and the right hip forward. Stay here or bend and straighten the right leg five times. Try to feel your right hamstring and glute engage. When you're ready, roll onto your left hip. Bring your right leg around. Cross it over the left thigh. Let's twist, left arm reaches up. Take it across the body. Each inhale creates more length in the spine. Each exhale allows you to twist a little further. So unwind a little bit. Right ankle's on top of the left knee. Take a couple moments here and just try to compress. Left thigh to the chest. Pull it in even closer. And you can always stick with this or we'll lower and lift. It's a total of 10. Focus on compressing your thigh to your chest and try to link the movement with the breath. Last six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Lower down, a lot of twist here as you lift up. Left elbow to the right knee for 10. Nine, eight, seven. You can always uncross the legs. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, set your left foot down, left elbow to the outside of the right knee for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Relax. We'll turn this into a little bit of a twist when you're ready, guiding that left knee or the right knee across the body. Working towards connecting the right knee and the right shoulder with the earth. Gaze can go into any direction. Back to the center. When you're ready, we'll cradle the right shin. Stay here or extend the left leg forward and just take a few breaths here. Let's try to rise up. And again, you might have to uncross your legs or just see if you can get your left heel to the floor. Rocking forward and back. Or maybe you want to try to lift up pistol style. You just have two more. You can always hold it at the bottom like we started. 
Last one. Great job. Happy baby. Grab a hold of the outer edges of the feet. Try to work the knees a little bit closer to the floor here. Let's let it go. Rock forward and back. Land in yogi squat. Toes out, heels in. We'll go for a curl pose this time. Any variation on curl that you're working on, gripping into your fingertips, rounding through the upper back, actively pull your heels in towards your glutes. It's up to you. One-legged curl. Curl to headstand. Curl to handstand. Eventually, coming down, stepping back to plank pose. Hold plank or two chaturangas. Right side, side arm out. Let's cross the left foot over. And you can either set it down or try to create that figure four shape here. Let's lower the hip and lift for 10. Nine, eight, seven, you can always set the foot down, six, five, four, three, two, one, left side, side arm balance. Again, you can cross that right foot over. Use it as a kickstand or work it as more as a, a figure four shape. Try to reach the right knee up towards the sky. Lower the hip and lift for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to downward facing dog. Lift the hips up and back. Full cycle of breath here. On an inhale, take your right leg up and back. Level off your hips, lift from the inner thigh. Right knee to the nose. Take it up and back or add a hop if you want. Two more, knee to the nose. Take it up or add a hop. Last one, knee to the nose. Take it up, maybe a hop. Pigeon pose, pull the right knee in. Top of the foot, the shin, the knee. Slide the left leg back, create that scissor. Draw your right hip back and your left hip forward. Roll onto your right hip. Bring your left leg all the way around. Stand up, standing splits. Stand on the left, lift the right leg fly. Hold it here or Shiva squat. Pull the right in, tap the back of the left calf. Extend and lift. It's a total of 10. Try to aim for the floor here and work the ankle mobility. Last five. Four, three, two, and one. Super soldier, bend your right knee, reach back to the left hand. Grab a little bit of the top of the foot. Stay there or plant your hands. Take a couple hops up towards a little wild turkey handstand. Kicking that left foot out at about seven or eight o'clock. You can see how low my hop is. Trying to compress left side of the chest. When you're ready, warrior two, open it up. Set the back foot down, looking for heel to arch alignment, actively push into the earth. Skandasana, pull it to the back of the mat, bend the right knee, straight out the left leg. Skandasana to the top. Once more to the back. And one more time to the top. Turn all ten toes forward, lizard pose, drop the back knee. Heel to the left foot out, flex it, turn it to a 45 degree angle. Hip opener, twist, maybe a quad stretch, you're reaching back for the right leg. Try to slow down the breath, come back to the intention. Release your hands down, downward facing dog, left leg flies, take it up and back. Hold it here or bend the knee. Maybe you want to try that wild turkey hop, hopping the right foot in, kicking that right foot out. Again, at about three or four o'clock this time. And notice how I'm just barely leaning into the handstand. There's not a lot of momentum happening there. Downward facing dog is what we'll meet. Shift it forward, play hold or two chaturangas. Right side, side arm balance. Reach the left arm up and cross the left foot over. Make that figure four shape or turn it into half lotus if you want. Let's lower the right hip and lift for 10. Nine, you can always find stillness. Eight, seven, I like to sit all the way down. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Left side, side arm balance. Again, making a kickstand with that right foot, creating that figure four shape or turning it into half lotus, placing the foot on top of the thigh. Lower, again, you might even sit all the way down, come all the way back up, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, trying to find the full range of motion, three, two, and one, downward facing dog. Lift the hips up and back, left leg flies, 
Take it up and back. Level off the hips, lift from the inner thigh. Left knee to the nose. Take it up or at a hop. Two more like that, or you can just hold your hands here or switch your legs in here. When you're ready, bring the left foot to the top. Pigeon pose, top of the foot, the shin, the knee. Slide that right leg back. Walk your hands back, puff up the chest. Try to create that scissoring action. Drawing the left hip back and the right hip forward. Roll onto the left hip. Bring the right leg all the way around if you can. Stand up, standing splits. Stand on the right leg, let the left leg fly. Shiva squat, left knee to the back of the calf for 10. Try to aim for the floor, work the ankle mobility. Last five. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it at the top, super soldier. Bending the left knee, reach back the right hand, grab a hold of the top of the foot. And just take a couple breaths here, folding in or planting your hands, looking between your hands. Just try to rock into that wild turkey handstand. So not a lot of momentum, right? That way you can easily step out of that shape. Warrior two, when you're ready, open it up. Set the left foot down, press the ear down like it's heavy, energize the fingers, sink deep in that right knee so it tracks with the second toe pretty much on top of the ankle. Skandasana, pull it to the back, bend the left knee straight down to the right. Skandasana to the top. One more time to the back. And one more time to the top. Turn all 10 toes forward, lizard pose, drop the back knee, heel toe the right foot out, flex it, turn it to a 45 degree angle, hip opener twist, maybe a quad stretch, reaching back with the right hand, grab a hold of the top of the left foot. Just slow down the breath a little bit here. And of course, if you know that you don't want to hop handstand, then you might just stay here for a little bit longer. And slow it down. Or downward facing dog, right leg flies. We'll try that wild turkey hop, bending the right knee, pulling it down forward towards your shoulder. And then just look how low this hop is. Hopping the left foot out to about seven or eight o'clock, compressing thighs to the chest. You want to grip into your fingers. The gaze is really important. So try to look down. But of course, you don't have to hop. Downward facing dog is where we'll meet. Let's shift it forward, plank, hold, or two chaturangas. Up dog if you want it. Downward facing dog is where we'll meet up. Take a moment here, reconnect, fill up and expand, bubble the lips. <clears throat> One more fill up, bubble the lips. <clears throat> Great job. On an inhale, drop down to your knees. So lift and lower that left knee straight out to the side, a little fire hydrant from hands and knees. We're here for 10. Try to slow down the lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it out to the side, stay there. Our option is straighten out the legs, just find stillness. Try to get a little bit of weight in your hands here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Just lift it higher. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, take it over to the right side of the mat, and then back out to the side for 10. Think about making this little rainbow shape. We have eight, seven, maybe we'll see a rainbow today, it's such a rainy day. Last five, four, three, two, and one, downward facing dog, lift your hips up and back, take the right leg up and back, bend the knee and open it up. Fall in triangle, extend your right leg over to the left, spin your back foot flat, reach the left arm up, flex the right foot, right ankle on top of the left knee, bend your hips, take, bend your knee, take your hips towards your heel for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and one, release the left hand down, you're in this plank shape, two chaturangas. Lower all the way to the belly on the third one. Inhale, up dog, take a breath. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back, walk your hands back towards your left leg, and just fold in towards the left leg. Relax your head and neck, slow down the breath. Work it as a forward fold, or plant your hands. Look between your hands and try a couple of hops up. Towards that figure four handstand, 
Use your fingers, take a few breaths. Great job, when you're ready, funky chair, let's sit back, compressing chest to the thigh, or fall over, that's okay too. Turn this into a cross ankle forward fold, cross the right ankle over the left, and just fold in towards your legs. Let's try to sit down without using our hands. Reach forward, start to bend into your knees, make your way all the way to your butt. Stand all the way back up to that floor fold. One more like that, no hands reach forward, hips come all the way down. Inhale, cross-legged forward fold, fold in towards your legs, take a few breaths here. Stay here, or we'll try a couple hops up towards that cannonball with your ankles crossed, or it's just a forward fold with your ankles crossed. You pick, it's up to you. Just a couple of breaths to fold in. Keep the ankles crossed, walk your hands forward, plank pose, hold plank, or two chaturangas, with the ankles crossed. Inhale, up dog, push back through your heel, pull back with your hands. Downward facing dog, lift the hips up and back, unwind the legs. Take a few breaths, relax your head and neck, slow down the breath a little bit here. Inhaling fully, exhaling completely. Great job. We'll get to the top of the mat to start. Look forward, bend your knees, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, flat back, lengthen the spine, touch something. Exhale, fold in. Bend the knees, drop the hips, chair pose, sit back. Interlace the fingers behind your back, puff up the chest. And exhale, hinge and fold in. Actively lifting the hands off the low back. Relax the neck. Think about taking your chin towards your chest. Great job. Let's release the hands down, step back, plank pose. Hold plank or two chaturangas here. Cobra or an up dog if you want it. Downward facing dog is where we'll meet. Great job. Inhale, shift it forward, plank pose. Side arm balance on the left side. Stack it up. Draw the left shoulder blade down the back. Exaggerate the lift in the hips. Great job. Take an extra breath here. Slow everything down. Downward facing dog. Let's lift the hips up and back. Take the left leg up and back. Bend the knee and open it up. Fall in triangle, extend your left leg over to the right, spin the back foot flat, reach your right arm up, left ankle crosses on top of the right knee, take your hips towards your heel for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, back to plank, 2 chaturangas with the shape, Lower to the belly on the third one. Inhale, up dog, point right through. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your hands back towards your right leg. And just fold in towards your right leg. Work it as a forward fold. Slow everything down. Hold it here or plant your hands. Take a couple hops up. I like to keep my right leg straight and strong. But again, if you're going to hop in the middle of the room, you just need to be prepared to exit, right? Because we're going to exit thousands of times. But eventually we'll all meet in standing balance, left ankle on top of the right knee, draw the hips back, take a breath. Release the left foot to the outside, fold in towards your legs, so you're in this cross angle forward fold. Reach the arms forward, bend into your knees, can you sit back and stand up, try not to use your hands as you fold in, taking your chin to your chest. One more like that, sitting all the way down, try not to use your hands. Come all the way back up. Stay here or plant your hands. Look between your hands. Try a couple hops up towards this little cross ankle cannonball. Trying to compress your thighs to your chest. Pulling your heels in towards your glutes. And eventually coming back to that cross ankle forward fold. Walk your hands forward. Plank pose. Side arm balance on the right side. Just take a breath here. Reach the left arm up. Slow down the breath. Great job. Both hands come down, knees come down. Lift and lower that right knee straight out to the side here for 10. Nine, try to slow the lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Just hold it out to the side, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just lift it higher, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Let's make a rainbow. 
Take the right leg to the left side of the mat, straight back out to the side for 10. Nice big arch, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, set the knees down, sit back, child's pose, tippy toe your fingers forward. So the forearms lift off the mat and find that counter motion, drawing the shoulder blades down the back. On an inhale, let's come up. Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together. Take a couple of breaths here. Maybe a little butterfly action or walking your hands forward. If you wanna move over to a spot on the wall and work on that figure four hop, the wall can be really helpful. And I'm just going to position myself about a foot away from the wall. Take my left ankle on top of my right knee. And oftentimes, some people hop up heel to the butt, which is fine. But I feel like the more breaks in the chain that you have, the harder it can be to lock in. So I'm going to hop up with that right leg straight and strong. So I just bend with the bottom, right? And then you can see I'm leaning the weight into my hands before I take a hop up. So it's just this little hop. If you want to give it a shot, if you want to try the other side, it's up to you. Or if you want to just make your way down onto your back and begin to finish out the practice in your own way. Every moment's precious and the beauty of a home practice is that you have the time and the space to throw in whatever else you want to throw in. It's up to you. <laughs> but otherwise, we'll just begin to consciously relax the body. Maybe you want to find a spot on your back. Maybe you want to try to consciously relax in that handstand or even just a comfortable seat. Just starting to let the practice go. Notice how your body feels now versus when we started the class. Just try to let everything go. Come back to the intention that we started with. See if you can carry that with you for the rest of the day. So when the mind starts to wander, you just come back to the breath and come back to that intention.